Hey everybody, so last time we looked at the weed roots, it's getting drier out and as I pull them out, I notice that it skins and removes off the outer layer. So be, be aware of that when you're harvesting these things. And when it's moist, it's better because you're pulling off, you know, more of the roots. But when it's dry, it could just break off here and leave the rest in the ground. Uh, that's very normal when it's super dry here in Texas. Just FYI. This can be also viewed with this. I know last time we did the Lumen Unit Epifluorescence Lighting. This time I want to do something different. This was created based upon my manual lighting method. And so, I, it's a pretty wild story. Let me explain it to you really quick while we do this. So I'm just gonna cut a root off here with a razor blade and we're gonna view it. I'm gonna try to pick one that's a good one that is retaining dirt, retaining like, all the little bits on it because the one, this one's stripped uh, because it was, it was adhered to the soil so much. So this is the one. I'm going to do this one. Hopefully it looks like last time. But there's no guarantee, right? You got to look to see. You got to look to know. We got to verify these things. And, you know, typically when you're doing bright field, which is, you know, what originally I learned, what Elaine Ingham taught me and you have this beautiful silhouette effect you know maybe you're you're designing something you're making a drawing it's a silhouette light from below works great for that but when you want to see the surface of this when you want to see inside it this isn't useful at all so so I found this infuriating because I recognized that the methods that we were doing chopping it in slices Time consuming, took a lot of skill. Sometimes it turns out good, sometimes it doesn't. And it was slow and much less certain than the Lumen unit, which is immediate, fast, no stain. And, you know, I mean, this is how the universities are doing it. This is the epifluorescence unit is the way that all parts of the mycorrhizal fungi autofluoresces. So it's incredible. And we're so very lucky now to have this technology in LED so that we can all use it. This is regular old white light. I'm gonna plug this in right now and we're gonna start in on this. This device was created because I wanted to see the surface and I started using a, a handheld flashlight. That's why I called it manual light, uh, lighting and not the powers technique because I really wanted it to be obvious what I was doing and also uh, empowering because the reality is we can all do this it is not hard this device helps us do it much easier I was I was doing it like this and so the videos of manual lighting initially are like all flickery and so I have to catch the moment and and take a picture of the video so this is way better I'm gonna get way better images this way with this manual lighting it's a variable light, so this is uh, something I requested. I, I, I helped LW Scientific create this simply because I created the, the method. They started doing this machine to try to figure it out and they sent me prototypes to, for me to approve of. So this is a collaborative effort. I love LW Scientific. One of the things we're gonna do here is we're gonna, we're gonna swing this around and I'm going to slip this on underneath and I'm going to clamp it with that, that little blue thing there. It's a little clamp. So any objective it can attach to. That was the thing. At first the objectives didn't attach uh, to all, it didn't attach to all objectives. Now I'm going to move into focus. Again, we're silhouetting, right? I'm going to turn off the below light just like the way we would for lumen lighting. And now I'm going to lower this. Oh, you know what? I got it on upside down. So you can screw it up, but it's so easy to fix. There we go. 
Now, we're going to turn that up. And now we're looking at the surface. You know what? Let me turn on the, the camera. Where did I put the... Alright, got it. The SD card. So let's go make sure we're recording because I want you to see this in higher quality. But you really can see the individual cells really incredibly well. You can see the surface of things. And this allows us to see the surface of a lot of things. People are looking at the surfaces of compost. Mark Lefavre is looking at the surfaces of compost. We can see the actual color of things. Often the root tip is a different color. Spores, you can identify their actual natural color. You can see some hyphae here, some beautiful hyphae. And this, this really allows us to see the things that don't show up in epifluorescence because it is just all natural lighting. Super interesting, right? So this, those, all those root hairs, beautiful. And hyphae, just gorgeous. And so let's look at this. Switch off, switch on. So now we are in epifluorescence and we can see a, 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 kind of a different story, right? <coughs> <coughs> we can see the train tracks, a robustcular mycorrhizal fungi running through it. The mycelium is running through the, the cells, along the cells and interacting with them, going around them. And we can see root hairs and we can see let me see if I can find a spore for you guys there's organic matter and minerals that are clinging to it that's very good very normal the plants should be anchored to the soil by the relationships all these glues we talk about them that they make you should be able to see and if you're not seeing spores that could be a spore right there okay if you're not seeing a spore, I'd have to switch it up to go closer. Um, yeah, that looks like a spore. Just see the attachment. That looks like a spore. But that spore looks like it's still attached. So, so when we evaluate, we've got all these different modalities. And with the manual lighting, you can evaluate rhizophagy. You can evaluate the color and the health of your root. You can see things that were not seen before. And what's so interesting about this is no one was lighting from above. It was always from below until epifluorescence is from above. And that opened the door for me to start thinking about this differently. Uh, just like the microbiometer got me thinking about color and dyeing the whole group and mine's an inverse of that, right? If the color shows up, there's not enough life. If the color gets eaten and it's lighting up the life, then you know that there's more life than that, right, right? So, so we're all operating off of conversations with each other and between our tests and, and, and with our understanding. And this is a new test. So there's a lot of discovery happening right now. Mark Lefavre, what Lefavre, was doing the surface of compost and has like nematodes, clear nematodes in white light, like just swimming on top of this compost in that, hydro, uh, that, 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 that hydrophilic layer, uh, that moisture layer. And so this is, this, this, this is manual lighting. It is, it is a new technique. It is something that I was able to, to pioneer and showcase and yeah, it just was never done before. So it's in and you notice here that you can't see that glow, that green glow. And that green glow is indicative of the work that our buscular mycorrhizal fungi is doing. We want to see the spores. We want to see the hyphae. But we also want to see that glow because that shows that it's reducing nitrogen, NADH, and it's creating phosphates, orthophosphates, including NADPH. So that's what's going on there. And it is NAD like you would take, right, at a 
you know, a biohacking conference or something, right? So it's amazing. And if you want to learn how to do this, what it all means, how to apply it, how to take action, and also like where that edge is so that you can participate in the discovery, the exploration of this space, then join us tomorrow at regenerativesoulmicroscopy.com and the course begins. So sign up close tomorrow at midnight, regenerativesoulmicroscopy.com and we begin. It's going to be incredible. There's a $2,400 giveaway for a microscope just like this. Without this lumen unit, without this camera, without this dark field uh, lens, but condenser, but the, the base unit, that's what, that's what they're giving away. So I feel very privileged that my community is going to be receiving this. I hope that you join us. It's going to be incredible. There's also 37% off your gear. There's also, there's so much stuff, so many discounts, bonuses, payment plans. Check it out, regenerativesoulmicroscopy.com. See why people at the highest levels of soil consultancy, highest levels of agriculture, highest levels of market gardening, and they are using the microscope to go to another level, using the microscope to figure out problems before they happen, using the microscope to protect their food, protect their families, protect their communities. I hope you join us. I'm Matt Powers. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. All right, see you in there. What if you could verify if your compost was actually doing its job? What if you could verify if the inoculants, the mycorrhizal inoculants, the biofertilizers are actually worth the money spending on them? It is all possible. And it's all things you can learn in the Regenerative Soil Microscopy 20 week online course that is starting this fall. If you wanna learn how to not just understand your soil, but to see that the things you're doing are actually working, that the money that you're gonna spend or, or have spent was worth it so you don't get fooled again. This is the pathway we need holistic testing, we need holistic microscopy, and we need to combine them in a new methodology, regenerative soil microscopy. I hope you join us. I'm Matt Powers. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. I'll see you soon.